All right, Shalom. First, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Akah Kudash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the elect. Um, this is from RTNews.com, and it says here, uh, Nightmarish, California police in riot gear drag families from vacant state-owned homes in shocking footage. All right, and uh, I'm going to read a little bit of this. And upon seeing this, it reminded me of this precept here in the book of Second Ezra, which we're going to get. But let's read this real quick. So it says, uh, shocking footage has emerged showing California Highway Patrol CHP officers forcibly removing families who were occupying vacant state-owned homes in L.A. All right. So technically, you know, what I'm saying they couldn't be in there. All right. Nonetheless, uh, you know, you had people that were basically saying that, no, you know, you know, they basically have a heart, but these, these people, when they were sent in there, man, they, they're not, they're not there to, you know, like we've been telling you, man, they're not there to, to feel bad for you. All right. They're there to get a job done. It says crowds of activists showed up to defend the families on Thanksgiving Eve. The videos reportedly, uh, captured Wednesday night in El Sereno area, uh, make for, in make for intense viewing law enforcement agents are seen dragging people out of the homes dressed in riot gear armed with military style guns and even using battering rams on doors be human again one protester calls to the officers adding that they are acting like domestic terrorists hmm in one particularly disturbing video a, a female who appears to be a teenager is carried out of a home by officers as activists scream at, at officers. Now, I'm going to play these videos, okay? But, you know, like I said, all right, this is all in the scriptures, man. Now, you know, getting when it, when it comes time for evictions, you know, you're going to have certain people, when these mor moratoriums run out, you're going to have certain people that are so behind that they can't pay, all right, for, uh, you know, they can't pay their rent. And they're, 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 uh, uh, you know, they owe, all right, all this much money. Now, whether it gets the, the moratorium gets, uh, you know, renewed right then and there or not will really, uh, affect a lot of people because it's going to be in the, in the, in the winter time. Okay. Now you're going to have certain people that are going to, you know, try to be sneaky and refuse to leave, but you just might be fa faced with a fate like this. All right. Which is in the book of Second Ezra. Let me get it real quick. This is the book of Second Ezra, chapter sixteen, verse seventy-one. They shall be like madmen, sparing none. So don't expect them to feel bad for you, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. Verse seventy-two. For they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. Okay. So don't be surprised, man. This is just a a a, a glimpse of what's to come. So I'm gonna play this. So as you can see, man, they just, <laughs> you know, regardless of what the people are saying and all that, they they're not trying to hear that. All right, let's take a look at this video. <laughs> That's what he's singing in the background. And, and there's going to come a time when they're going to come and they're going to, just like this, or even worse, they're going to remove you from their houses if you refuse to take the vax 
or if you refuse to take the chip. All right, and they're going to haul you off into the back of a van, and they're going to take you to a concentration camp. Okay, just like that. But see, ain't nobody going to be out here saying, oh, please be human again. Nah. Okay, and if you resist, you just might get shot. Okay, let's take a look at this. This guy's got his gun pointed into the home. There's no weapons in the home. Oh, yeah, open the door for That's them. That's illegal. They're opening it right now. Okay, they're being Yeah, so as you can see, man, you know, it says uh, CHP retreating um, down uh, Sheerfield after a long standoff. Which, which this is really, this is really nothing, you know, this is really nothing. In comparison to what's gonna happen, this this ain't this ain't nothing. All right. All right. Let's, let's take a look at this. I command all of those assembled here at this location to comply and leave the area. What area? You can leave this way, or you can leave this well, way. The we are not leaving the area. We're protecting the tenants that are going to be arrested. We live here. We live here in this community. So they, as you can notice, they're getting more and more militarized. They're getting harsher and harsher. All right, and just as the scripture said, man, they're gonna be like madmen sparing none. Okay, look at that. London police slam woman to the ground during anti-lockdown protest in Trafalgar Square. <laughs> Hey man, you people about to see some some things, man. Okay, but um, yeah, that was that. You know, just wanted to bring that out real quick, showing you, man, that this is only and this is just an example, man. All right, this is just an example. It's gonna get much more severe, much more intense, and much more dangerous from here. All right. So, low willing, you were edified. In closing, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Recha Kodesh. Until next time, Shalom.